I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrant. Are you a Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? What's with a blaster fire in the background? We've been boarded. The situation is bad. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Darth Tormund can't handle this himself. He went to deal with the attackers personally, but his soldiers are sealed off from the bulk of the fighting. The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormund and his soldiers can retake control. I won't let you down. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have asked. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. We're in for a rough landing. Business as usual, then? <sighs> Figures I'd have a big lunch. You must be the bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. I've restored control to the bridge. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? Anyone stepping through that door gets blasted back out. Get those lower decks unsealed, ASAP. My, my lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I... he... The, the captain's dead, sir, my lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur... Well, I'm not sleeping tonight. I have you to thank for a ship. Yeah, you're welcome. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. Their rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. A win's a win. We will not make martyrs. The people will see their heroes broken and their Republic fail them. There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What's the rebellion got to do with Jun Siros and the Supreme Chancellor? If Corellia is conquered, the Republic will send troops. If Corellia secedes, the Republic must rely on diplomacy. A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before Jun Seros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. I've only seen Seros operate through proxies. He was undefeated on every front he led during the last war. He will not sit idle while Corellia falls. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Krau. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the Tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. Friendly. Let's get on with this bounty hunter. I have troops to deploy. Darth Tormund demands that I dispatch you to capture Chairman Harlan Fane of the Corellian Corporate Council. What's Tormund's interest in a corporate fat cat? Harlan Fane is the face of the Corporate Council. His presence at the treaty signing is vital to Darth Tormund's plans. Fane and the other representatives have locked themselves up in their council tower in defiance of Imperial rule. His exact location isn't known. 
but it is likely that he and the other senior representatives are holed up in the tower's upper executive offices. These other reps worth anything to you? If you're able to capture other members of the corporate council, do so. But Chairman Fain is the absolute priority. Resistance will be heavy, but the council tower has several structural weaknesses we can exploit. The only thing stopping you from accessing the tower through the main lobby is sheer manpower. I'll expect a warm welcome. You'll have their undivided attention. I hope you're prepared for it. The executive suites have a private lift that will bypass most of the intervening levels. It'll require an access key used by senior staff. Also, unless you'd like to be trapped inside a lift shaft, you'll need to attack the tower's security center and disable their lift override controls. Solid plan, General. I've got it from here. Once those objectives have been completed, you should have a straight shot to the upper levels. And remember, you're to deliver Chairman Fane alive and intact. Dismissed. Wait, wait! Sir, they're dangerous. Guys, I'd let your boss do the talking. Trust me. I see they're obviously not Imperial soldiers. This is clearly a question of money, not loyalty. Am I right? I got my reasons for being here. Money's only one of them. Look, I'm a powerful man. I can open a lot of doors. Let's work something out. The private sector always needs good talent, and we'll pay you what you're worth. Why collect one paltry bounty when I can pay you a fortune in regular wages? Take care of the Republic's price on my head, and we'll talk. A fresh start? Harder to grease the right palm since the Prime Minister sold out to the Empire. But it's possible. Hey, what gives? It's you! Fire! Fire! We can work this out! The Empire can have Corellia! I'll, I'll slip off world and, and retire somewhere in the colonies! Should have thought of that earlier. Let's go, Chairman. I can't stop you. I'll go quietly. You've obtained Chairman Fane. Good. We proceed on schedule. General, see to the bounty hunter's reward. Yes, my lord. Our next objective is to bring Corellia's beasts to heal. You will be the one to break them. You want an animal handler? Find a circus. Silence. <laughs> the Corellians cohabit with a number of species. The most numerous and organized are the Salonians. The Republic needs to see the Salonians accede to the Empire. A representative must be acquired. Never seen a Salonian. What am I looking for? Man-sized vermin with enough intelligence to fear us. They support the rebellion from Coronet City's interstitial maintenance corridors. One particularly tenacious animal leads packs of raiders to undermine our front lines. It will make as good an example as any. General Trow will brief you on the battle plan. When you have the creature, bring it to me in Axial Park. Planning to take it for a walk? Do not keep me waiting. Trying to locate the Salonian raiders in the guts of Coronet City would be almost futile. Instead, you'll target an invaluable Salonian resource and force these raiders to defend it. What's important enough that they'd risk fighting on our terms? Salonians rely on a small breeding caste to reproduce. With their future at stake, the Salonians will have no choice but to act. Raid the Salonian warrens under Labor Valley, take your hostages, and hold them at these coordinates. And if the Salonians aren't getting the message? Use your discretion. So long as their leader is captured, the others are expendable. These shock collars will keep the alien filth in line while you lead them to the ambush coordinates. When your objective is complete, report directly to Darth Tormen in Axial Park. Just follow the sound of destruction. Yeah.
had nigh just nigh no one die on your wound, Kadayoak. Keep talking and the only quick death is gonna be theirs. I don't think scare tactics are working. They can go when we're done. There's only one place scrapping where the Empire gets you. You no longer get a say in the matter. Sleep tight. Your representative, Darth Tormund. Impressive. For an animal. The trap is nearly set. All that remains is to capture the last figurehead of Corellia's old regime. Corellia's civil police force commissioner. Somehow Commissioner Carter survived the initial purge of dissenters before Prime Minister Falcone delivered Corellia to us. I'd have thought Corellia'd be under martial law by now. Corsac was disbanded, officially. One of the many steps taken to ensure a smooth exchange of power. It failed. Since the purge, Commissioner Carter has rallied the rebellion. The public sees him as the last legitimate voice of the Corellian people. Carter and his Corsac officers are the backbone of the civilian resistance. Corsac is one thing. But I'm not keen on dragging any more bystanders into this war. It will not be an issue. Corsac's old headquarters is now a formidable fortress. Our forces are laying siege to it as we speak. Their standing orders are to block off any escape. That is all. I prefer not having your grunts underfoot. Contact me when Commissioner Carter is in custody. My troops will cover your exit. Well, look at you. Waltzing in here like you own the place. Come to finish what they started? Go on and kill me. You'll have a million citizens rioting in the streets by sundown. By sundown, a million citizens are gonna watch you shaking hands with the Empire. Over my dead body. Even if you slave drivers break me, you won't be fooling anyone. Corillians aren't as dumb as you seem to think. If your people want to keep fighting, that's fine with me. If you got no stake in Corellia, why are you here? Hut cartel short on credits? The people you're working for, they aren't spice runners or thugs looking for a quick fortune. They're despots. Do this and you'll force billions of people to bow before the Sith. Is the Empire paying you enough to clear your conscience of that? Better they bow than continue to get caught in the crossfire. You're a real gentleman. Thanks for the chat. Now I know that what I've been doing is making a difference. Hit him! Where are you? I can't see. You got me. Good for you. You want a medal? You and me, this battle, the war, not even a blink in the grand scheme of things. Corellia's been around a lot longer than the Sith's little upstart empire, and it'll be around long after the Empire falls. I've been to Terrace, Commissioner. The Empire knows how to make a lasting impression. They, they wouldn't go that far, would they? Overkill isn't in their vocabulary. Tormen. The Commissioner is secure. Good. Our forces have control of the Corellian Legislature. Deliver Commissioner Carter to the Grand Assembly. Your reward will be waiting. Prepare the Commissioner for the surrender. My Lord! Your success is noted. So's your gratitude. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Watch these rebels sign our enemy's death warrant. Might as well see this through.
Supreme Chancellor Janaris, respected members of the Galactic Senate, the Corellian people have chosen. We will not continue to be held captive by a failed system. I ask... No, I demand that Supreme Chancellor Janaris ratify this treaty and acknowledge Corellia as a sovereign system of the Sith Empire. It was only a matter of time. As Prime Minister for Life, let me be the first to welcome you to Imperial Corellia, my lord. Had you delivered what you promised, you would enjoy a longer reign. If there's nothing else. Make yourself comfortable. The trap is set. Now, we wait. Darth Tormund desires your presence immediately. This way, please. A large Republic fleet has entered the system. It includes the founder, Supreme Chancellor Janaris's personal flagship. These reinforcements are attempting to consolidate at the Green Gardens. You know who leads them. Looks like your plan is working. Jun Serra seeks to urge Coronet City's Green Jedi out of their enclave and press the attack. When their forces are amassed, the Republic will attempt one last offensive. You have until then to reap your vengeance. I work at my own pace. If Seros leads his attack, he will die. I will not surrender ground for your vendetta. Attacking June Seros within his headquarters is the only way to be sure crucial data is in his possession. Dispose of Seros. Quietly. No one must know of his demise. Bring his effects to me. An intruder? Go. Do your part to liberate Corellia. This is a private matter. You don't want to get in the middle of this. Are you certain, June? You know what's required of you. Go. As you wish. May the Force be with you. You're persistent. Stubborn. I suppose that's why you excel at what you do, but the price is high. What won't a Mandalorian put aside for pride? I'd meet death head-on for a comrade. But would you kneel? You chose to murder Kelly and Jaro, just like you chose to kill everyone sent to bring you to justice. You could have surrendered at any time. You chose to become a murderer and terrorist. I only turned all that senseless destruction toward a righteous purpose. Killing my associates and slinging mud? Real noble. They made their decision, just like you made yours. If using you to expose the Sith's true face has dirtied my hands, so be it. It's time to answer for your crimes. When I'm finished, you'll be glad no one was here to watch you die. <laughs> I won't be the one after all. You knew this was how it would end. I considered this outcome. It was a calculated risk. You've denied me nothing here. In failure, I've undone all your accomplishments. In death, I return to the Force. I thought Jedi were supposed to be detached. Why'd you make this personal? If you believe you can distance yourself from the harm you cause, you're deluding yourself. <coughs> you're not some mindless tool. You're accountable. Your actions will catch up with you eventually.
pathetic. I did not see Saros. You were successful? I brought his effects, as you asked. Good. Only Jedi would call something this fragile Battlemaster. Battlemaster some sort of special honor? Before our return, Jun Seros taught all Jedi the art of conflict. His death is a crippling blow to the Jedi Order. And without Jun Seros at his side, the Supreme Chancellor is exposed. Victory is close. Don't leave me hanging. It's encoded with Jun Seros' bioscan. Once the encryption is broken, we will know this data's true value. You know more than you're letting on. June Seros came here aboard the Founder. He was privy to its security protocols, landing codes, even the Supreme Chancellor's itinerary. My subordinates will transmit the relevant data to your vessel when it's prepared. Until then, make yourself useful to Darth Decimus. The battle for Corellia is not yet decided. <laughs>